Gregor is present when Euron and Captain Harry Strickland announce the arrival of the Golden Company to Cersei. Afterwards, Euron makes another move on Cersei, but Clegane stops him from proceeding with a menacing stare. Nevertheless, when the Queen finally allows Euron to have his way with her, Clegane does not intervene. During the parley outside the gates of King's Landing, Gregor carries out Cersei's order of executing Missandei. During the Battle of King's Landing, Gregor stays by Cersei's side to guard her. After Kyburn convinces her to flee from the Red Keep, he protects them both from the debris falling as a result of the Red Keep crumbling due to Drogon's attack. They are however confronted by Sandor who slays all the surviving Kingsguard except Gregor who remains at Cersei's side. Gregor wishes to fight Sandor but Cersei and Kyburn order him to guard her. In anger, he bashes in Kyburn's skull while Cersei flees past both of the brothers. In the ensuing duel, Sandor proves himself better at sword fighting than Gregor and stabs him, but he doesn't die due to his reanimation. Gregor proceeds to brutally thrash and choke Sandor who stabs him many times in vain. While trying to crush Sandor's skull, Gregor is stabbed through his left eye, though even this fails to kill him and Gregor begins to pull the blade out. Seeing this Sandor tackles Gregor into a crumbling wall, leading to the both of them falling from the Red Keep Tower to their deaths in the burning chasm below.